What's up, you guys? It's your girl coming at you, looking like Paul Bunyan. <laughs> um, I was outside moving some quartz uh, that I dug up from Arkansas, and it's pretty cold outside, and it's also very heavy, so I thought I would take a break and do a reading for all of you fine folks. Um, please just take what resonates. Remember that all of my readings are general readings, so there may be bits and pieces for you. a lot of you, or the entire story might also resonate for you. All of my readings are also timeless, um, because energy is not linear, so, uh, you know, if you feel called to go through some of my other previous readings, do that, and whichever one calls to you, that reading might be for you. Also, please don't forget to like and subscribe. And um, also, please feel free to check out my Etsy shop. I will leave a link in the description box. I'm very proud of all of my product, most of the crystals. I have dug up myself, cleaned myself, um, did a lot of the lapidary work myself and all of the metal work. And um, it'd be so cool if you could, uh, you know, help support my channel by, you know, making a purchase there. So let's, um, let's just dive right in and see what the vibe is, what's going on. What's the message, spirit? Okay, we've got Watch Me Shine. We've got downloads. Okay, so I feel like somebody is receiving some intuitive messages from Spirit, and they just came out of a toxic cycle, because we've got the Chain of Fools card here. You know, Aretha Franklin, that song, Chain of Fools. Um, so, let's just dig a little bit deeper here. Yeah, somebody who's emotionally unfulfilled, somebody who feels like their wish was not fulfilled, and somebody is a dark empath. And somebody who is a dark empath might get sick because they are a karmic who is relentless and will not stop, and it is getting in the way of your abundance. All right. Um, I feel like you're just kind of patiently waiting for your ship to come in, but you are a... Um, you are an intentional manifester. You're somebody who takes action in life and um, and your intentions behind your actions um, make sure that everything that you do is incredibly fulfilling and incredibly abundant, all right? We've also got the Eight of Wands here. Um, there's going to be some action that's taken towards some sort of an injustice with somebody who's not very good with money. This experience that you went through um, brought you a lot of inner strength, and I feel like Spirit is telling you to stay strong, but also to, to get out of your mind. I feel like you've been trapped in your mind a little bit too much, um, and it's making it difficult for you to be able to receive the downloads that you need to receive in order to... Um, uh, shift into a higher frequency and align with your new path. We've also got the, um, sorry you guys, I don't know why I'm yawning, it's still quite early. Um, it's all that quartz lifting, whew, it really does a number on the body. Um, but, uh, okay, we've got the nine of wands here. Um, I feel like you're out of some sort of a prison, but you're still stuck in the prison of your mind. So you just need to shift that perspective. Hope is right around the corner. Um, it may feel dark, but it's darkest before the dawn, is what I'm hearing here with the sun card in the reverse position. Spirit has seen how, how much hard work you've been putting in, and soon it's going to be time to celebrate and to collect the fruits of your labor. Um, you may have had an unhappy health... Health? No, 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 no. An unhappy household... Um, but that's coming to an end, okay? Uh, we've got the Ten of Pentacles in the reverse position and the Death card, all right? Um, yeah, you were dealing with, like, a fuckboy energy. Um, fuckboy, fuckgirl, it doesn't matter. And it, it doesn't necessarily have to be somebody who you were romantically linked with either. Um, but it's just somebody who's, like, a narcissist and somebody who comes in and out of your life depending on whether or not they want supply, okay? Whether they want or... Uh, whether they want someone to validate their false narrative of their reality that they're living in, which is false, okay? It's, they're living in a delusion. They cannot take accountability. Um, so what they do is in order to, um, to validate what is not true, they bully other people into validating them, okay? Um, this person was a liar. I feel like if you haven't been sleeping really well, um, it's because you are in a lower frequency than what you're normally used to and what you're, you are in your essence, okay? But that's shifting and you're going to be sleeping a lot better. You're also going to have a lot more energy moving forward. 
and Spirit is saying to take a leap of faith. This is, so if there's something that you were working on and, and trying to do, um, I feel like maybe now is the time to, to, to move towards that. The Fool card is also um, a card of new beginnings, okay? Um, I feel like that was the reading, but I also feel like that was really sh fast. So um, let's pull a few of these Moonology cards. We've got this one that just flipped. Uh, this is perfect. Show the world the real you. I feel like whoever you were in this dynamic with, they just, it, obviously a narcissist wants you to validate who they are. And, and sometimes when, when we're, especially if we're bullied into doing that or manipulated into doing that, um, it's very difficult for us to be able to live in our authenticity. So I feel like this is your chance to, to be authentic, okay? Remember who you are. Make sure that you're grounding yourself and remember who you were before you met this person, okay? That's who you are. Um, this situation made you a lot tougher and a lot more discerning and stronger and sharper in the mind. Um, and so now I feel like you're, you're going to come out and perform is not the word. I don't know why I can't think of a better word than perform, but you're going to show the world what you've got. You're going to be, you're going to be like you before this person, but like on fleek. I don't know how else to say it. So, um, this is a really beautiful reading, really beautiful energy. I hope that, um, it resonates and, um, again, please like and subscribe and until next time. Thanks guys.